is it's a very older, mature group. And I think um, most coaches would tell you, oh, we have so much to cover, because the reality is it's only in college soccer. You have to play seven days after your first day of practice. Um, but having a lot of experienced, older players who um, understand the game means that very early on our conversation is a little different. So I'm, it's good first practice, and, and it's great to finally be out and play. Do you think any freshman could break through in the starting 11? Well, I think uh, the obvious player who will obviously be pushing his way onto somewhere in the field will be Ema. So he's the one player that, um, you know, um, with what he brings to the field, you know, whether or not he's 18 or 22 or you know, 20, whatever, he, he can change a game. So I think he'll be pushing on. But as we talked about, there's two or three other players that have something to say about that as well. Ema is is a little you know better, especially at this stage, uh, of of wanting to go to his left. I mean, he he will he will he will show inside a couple times to then get it to his left, and once it's on his left, I mean, his service is very very good, and uh, his delivery. And so again, that's that's really really important for us to um, to have that going on the left because we know we've got it going on on the right. I mean, on the right, you got a lot of options for us. Um, so Josue and. Dion and you know MD is going to float over on the right and uh, you know McGlynn's coming from the outside back and so right hand side we got tons of service but we want to be able to balance it off on the left. The middle though I mean you know Silva I mean what how do you fill that position? Well that's one of the big uh, question marks um, which I feel like uh, whether or not we change our shape a little bit uh, whether or not we are talking about uh, uh, having a couple players, uh, that's why I thought the, the addition of Goffin, um, at least in the area where he calms the game down and he's very, very mature, um, that's the part of Silva's game which, you know, you'll get the goals and assists, but I thought that's what really settled us down in big games. So um, I think that's a good addition to our team, but also you look at Michael Davids, a fifth year senior. Um, you know, Fifi, I think, in my opinion, is really locked down that defensive mid. He, he does it so well, and he had a breakout season last year, and so that gives us the flexibility now to push Michael David a little bit further up. And um, So we have plenty of attacking options. Um, it it kind of came down to last year where Silva just had to do so much because we just we couldn't find goals anywhere else, and then he just took over. Um, a player like Dion, um, as we as we've learned from uh, Chris Pontius, you know you can make a living being a right-footed player on the opposite side mm -hmm. because you have to respect his right because he's going to score on it. But you give him the left, and Chris will keep running. Now he's in your box. So Dion has that same ability where, you know, he's so fast that um, if literally you try to play his right foot, um, he's gone and he's in your box. And now he's going on your goal. And he still can bring it back to his right foot, uh, very similar like what you know Henri did for all those years, floating out on that left-hand side. You, you're going to catch 22 because you don't want to give service, um, but by taking away someone's right foot, you're allowing that player to keep running. What Dom does is Dom plays that underneath role up front as well as anybody. Um, he, he could drop back in even further a little bit, but man, he's, he's so effective around the 18-yard box and he slips people in and uh, he's going to get his fair share of goals. So realistically, you know, H is, is the guy, Shield is the player we brought in to be the point uh, and be the big guy up front, which we haven't had in a while. Um, and then Dom starts to look like the player that runs underneath. Uh, Javier Castro, again, is going to be a player that we you know, 23 goals and 21 assists, and and fits right in with that group. Because um, we have seven, eight midfielders that can all play and start for this team, um, and so that will be for us the strength of this group. How about the back? You got some experience back there too with, with Glow. Well, McGlynn is the McGlenn. big is the big returning. Uh, again, we're crossing our fingers, you know, because I think McGlynn is the best right back in the country, but. You know, freshman year he played every minute of every game, and sophomore year was out for the season. Junior year every minute of every game, senior year out for the season. So, you know, this is the fifth go around here, and hopefully we'll get a reoccurrence of freshman and junior. 
Um, and he, he needs to be smart enough. You know, I, I, I remember having a conversation with Pontius about when he broke his leg, you know, at Home Depot. And, you know, he didn't really need that tackle. You know, it was nothing. He was checking back in. He, and so Peter has to be a little bit smarter, you know. Um, you know, you're not going to take away the Irish in him. Um, but but he, has to, he has to be in a situation where there's some tackles which, you know, you, don't, you, don't, you, want, to, you want to stay out of. And it keeps you playing. And then let's hope we get a little bit lucky. You know, the injury last year wasn't even a tackle. It was just him running and cutting, and uh, the ankle went. So he, he is, uh, yeah, I mean, without a doubt, um, you know, the two players. So even though we lost players, you know, you, you got the two guys coming back. You know, Michael David and McGlynn, we did not expect back. And uh, so they, 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 that will be a big, huge senior leadership. Is there competition at goalkeeper? Uh, we, we have opened up competition for goalkeeper. Um, I, I feel like uh, uh, we're in a position where I thought there would be competition last year um, because we do like Austin a lot. Um, but the reality was Austin got hurt and, you know, uh, Ray has transferred because he thought he would be the third goalie. And if all things had worked out, he would have been the third goalie probably. So the reality is now we, we have a good young freshman coming in um, who's very athletic. Um, but at the same time, we have Austin, who has been in the program now. This will be his third year, so it's not like he hasn't been with us. Uh, and then Andre, of course, is fifth-year senior who, when Andre played well, we did well. When he didn't play well, we, we lost games, and especially late leads. And um, Andre, I thought, started out for us well and then struggled in the middle of the year and then I thought played a great game at Creighton. Um, so there needs to be competition because... You know, like everything else, he needs to be sharp, and and if he's not sharp, we we need to be in a position where somebody else might be able to help us as well. Uh, the, the transfers. I mean, is is Dion the number one guy? Like, say, impact player at this moment? I mean, or, or do you see Akili or or Daniel Welsh or? Yeah, um, yeah, and, and Dan, uh, Danny Welsh. You know, we he, he's come in with a little bit of an ankle thing, so we're just again, we're just being a little bit careful with him right now. Uh, especially as we start out. Um, uh, we, we don't want to be in a position with a couple of these guys where we carry injuries you know, into training too right. much. So uh, we just got to be a little bit careful. But anyway, um, th that, that's a great question. It would almost be like saying, you know, uh, you know, we had to replace a 10 Pontius. Well, that, that, that's a big position. You know, we have to replace, so we had to replace guards that we had to replace, you know, even what Big David did for us. So in, in my opinion, each one of those players, um, is really critical. I, I would almost say, though, for me, um, you know, what Danny Welch brings to us is probably potentially long term the most critical um, because, as, as everybody knows, ultimately it's your defense um, that's going to take you as far as you're going to go. I mean, because as the games get later in the year and the weather turns bad and, you know, uh, Right center back, left center back becomes very important, and we had to find somebody who could complement Schmetz. You know, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the guy's six six and six seven, and you know he runs really well and he's got great feet, but he's, you know, he ain't, he ain't catching a lot of guys. Yeah. So who we play next to him, and as everybody knows, we build out of the back. Um, so our attack starting ends with our two center backs. Oh, he looks very physical too. He's, he's uh, he. There's a reason why he had two red cards last year and five yellows. And um, <laughs> but but what 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 he gives us is uh, he's a great athlete and he can run with anybody and he's very smart on the ball. So long term, team wise. Um, that one is like they talk about what losing the center in football. You don't quite realize it, but the guy makes all the calls. The guy's doing all the stuff, and you know everything kind of works. And you don't realize it until you lose the center that you know everything seems to be. So uh, Dion's important, and H, you know, Shields important, and you know obviously Goffin's going to be important. I mean, all those guys are going to be important for us. Um, but uh, I I always feel like. It's soccer, and if we lose them, you know, if all of a sudden, you know, Dion gets hurt in the first games, out for three games, we're going to be okay. You know, if, if anyone going forward, if we, you know, kind of lose for a period of time or they get hurt or something, you know, we're okay. Uh, we're that deep. Um, but in the back, you, you're talking about two positions which are really critical for us. Now, we have brought in some players which I think can help us back there. 
um, but uh, those players I think will take a little bit of time to really develop and understand what we're trying to do. Um, you know, Danny's one kid who, who understands, you know, right away what we're, we're going to ask for. Uh, we have made it the focus to to win every Big West game this year, and uh, and you know we've got the new structure now in terms of the the league. So what we have to concentrate first is being the best team in the Northern Division, um, and then uh, and then obviously take on the teams in the South. Every single team poses a challenge, and uh, but we have to return. You know we can't start out conference going two and four, and and that's. You know, we've made that very clear, and, and I, I think the guys are highly motivated by that. So um, we need to find ourselves uh, early enough to where we're ready to go in that first conference game.